Hello there, and welcome back to That Handicapping Show, sponsored by TwinSpires.com. I'm Jason Chandler, along with Tom Lamara and Tim Holland from Brisnet.com. This week's featured race is the Fountain of Youth, a key derby prep for three-year-olds going a mile and an eighth at Gulfstream. We'll also touch on the Hutchinson, which is also for three-year-olds going seven furlongs. But let's start with the Fountain of Youth, which... You know, a lot of people say is where the real derby prep starts, um, and and this year we have a good field of eight, and all eyes are going to be on to honor and serve, who won a pair of grade two races in New York in his juvenile season. Everybody's going to be interested to see if he carried his two-year-old form over to this year in his debut. Um, he faces a good field. Soldat will be the, the likely second choice. He's a graded stakes winner on turf, and he won that allowance race, race last out at Gulfstream going the same distance very impressively by 10 lengths. Um, Gourmet Dinner is the other graded stakes winner in here. He won the Delta Jackpot and ran third in the Holy Bull. Um, some other good horses in here, lots of ways to go. Um, Tim, there's not a, a ton of speed in here. Um, Soldat no. breaks from the rail. Will he get the lead or will it be, I, you know, to honor and serve? Or I think to honor and serve gets the lead from the outside. Think, yeah, yeah, you think he'll beat uh, Shackle for Yeah, or? and I'm sure Shackle but will show a bit of speed and sold that as well, as you mentioned, yeah. 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 Now, to honor and serve will probably be, you know, I don't what do you think, Tom, somewhere around eight to five, nine to five in here? Probably eight. Yeah. Al although, you know, I mean, he's a he's a hype horse of sorts, so maybe it would be lower than that. Yeah, you know? so yeah. in that case, I think we're all going to try to beat him here um, <laughs> and let him, let him prove to us that he did carry that form over. Um, who do you like? Well, um, you know, I have nothing bad to say about To Honor and Serve. Um, I think that he will be heard from, and it could happen in this race. He has a great work pattern. I went with Soldat, and um, the reason is this. Um, you know, um, yes, this is a major prep, but what's nice about the Florida Trail is, you know, horses have already run one and one-eighth miles uh, in Florida this year, mm -hmm. and I think that that's great. One of them is Soldat. He isn't the only one either. Um, you know, so conceivably, you know, if he were to run well in this race and then he ran in the Florida Derby, he would have another mile in an eighth race. And I think that that's priceless. Um, I guess it flies in the face of the way horses are trained for the Triple Crown now. But, you know, I really like horses who have already run one and one eighth miles. Mm -hmm. um, he won an allowance race last time uh, quite easily, actually. I was kind of impressed with the way that he came home. Um, that was one and one-eighth miles. And also, just real quick, uh, there is a, th um, a three-year-old race, I think the second or third race on the card on Saturday. Um, horses that he ran against are running back in that race, and it's one and one-eighth miles as well, so you may want to use that as a guide. We yeah, don't have that good, luxury. A good but, indicator, right, though. Right, yeah. so um, one of them is Cool Blue Red Hot, um, who uh, looked like the speed in that allowance race, but... Sold at rolled, but what I like about him is, is that he doesn't need the lead to win. I think he's just an improving horse, and I just want to see how far he can go, so I'm going to pick him on top. That was on the slop. Um, yes. You know, mm -hmm. some people that, that aren't using him are saying that was kind of a, a freaky race. But, I think uh, it was a little bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, he, but he's proved himself before that. So. Right. Yeah, um, yeah it'll be interesting, because if he runs a big yeah. race, he's going to jump right to the, near the mm -hmm. top of, the, of everybody's uh, list of derby horses here, especially if he beats to honor and serve. But yeah. uh, we're going with a couple of uh, only uh, maiden winners here. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with another one that's <clears throat> won over a mile and an eighth already, over at the Gulfstream, um, Bowman's Causeway. Um, I like the pedigree, improving pedigree. He's out of a grade one winner. Um, Victory Encounter on the vanity as a four-year-old. And by Giants Causeway, he's bound to be improving. I liked his last race. I thought that was very impressive. I also like the fact that he was favoured in the race before that. And he was just beat by natural business. So, you know, he's a nice horse. And yeah. he's improving and he might be a bit of a price. Yeah. And again, Nacho Business is in that in that um, um, Island race earlier in the card, right. so you might see how he does first. Yeah. And I like Leperu getting on this horse too. Yeah, it's a plus, you know, big plus. That never hurts. Yeah. Um, yeah. I like the horse that Leperu is getting off. Uh, not <laughs> not because of that, but right. it just happened to, to be that way. Casper's yeah. Touch, who um, I was really impressed with his February fifth allowance race when he ran second to Shackleford, who's also back in here. Um, if you watch that race, he had, 
you know, one of the worst trips you'll see yeah, for, horrible. yeah, for uh, a young horse, and, and he still responded really well. He was ranked, he was stuck on the inside, he was body checked at the top of the stretch and, and still ran on, and I really like that. I think, um, you know, McPeak showed a lot of confidence in him after that. He said he's putting him in here and the Florida Derby, and he's just going to see if he's good enough, and, and he thinks he is. Um, he, he, the reason he took Leperu off for Alex Solis is because he thinks this is a derby horse and he wants the same rider throughout the Triple Crown. Leperu is... is Which already, makes perfect yeah, sense. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Leperu is committed to dialed in, mm -hmm. so he wants and he wants a rider who's uh, mm -hmm. who's committed and Solis is, is riding great this week, but um, you know, I, I think first of all, I will use to honor and serve. You know, I think mm -hmm. he's going to run absolutely. well. Absolutely. And I, I just don't want to pick him on top because of the price, but I will absolutely use him in exotics and sold yeah. that, who I think is in good form is going to run well too. Um, so I, I think, he, you know what, there, there's one other horse I want to mention in here. I don't think he's a derby horse, but he's a horse that I'm going to use in here and it's Gourmet Dinner. Um, mm -hmm. He ran really well in the Holy Bowl and, you know, he's in really good form. He's working out very well. He's got that, that run over the track. And, and again, I don't think he's a horse, a mile and a quarter horse, but I think he, he runs well here and, and uh, maybe gets a piece. So, and I think he'll be a Ramon price picks too. up the mouth for yes. the first time, that, which is interesting. That, um, that's absolutely <laughs> the reason I'll use him. <laughs> he's probably going to be showing more speed too, Gourmet Dinner, than he has in the past. So yeah. That really sharp workout last um, right. few days so. ago. You know, again, he'll, he'll uh, fatten the price a little bit. So, yeah. um, Let's move on to the Hutchinson, which drew a field of 10. Tough, now, tough, tough. Tough race. Yeah. Not a true derby prep because it's only seven furlongs, but um, it's, it's a very intriguing race. And for the simple fact that there's a ton of speed in here and, and there's really good electrifying speed in here. Um, crossbow, Madman Diaries, Travel Man, Break from the one, two, and three posts, and all of them have world-class speed. Flashpoint for Dutro has shown really good speed, and, and Royal Courier, even from the outside. So, you know, it, it's it's like, where do you go here? You, do, you, do you take the, the fastest horse, or you, does it set up for a horse just off the pace, or does it set up for a closer like uh, Leave of Absence? So um, what, what do you think here? Well, I looked at this multiple times, you know, a um, lot of speed, a closer who is uh, blinkers on, a speed horse who is blinkers off. I just decided to pick Traveling Man, uh, one of the Pletcher horses. Um, he just, he... He broke his maiden first crack out impressively on this racetrack. Um, you know, 109, he was drawn away in a, in a short five-horse field. Um, you know, he's had some, some um, methodical work since, which I kind of like, actually, um, at Palm Meadows. Um, it, it's just a tough race, and I just decided I don't want to overanalyze this race, so I went with the horse I thought who might be the best of the speed rather than looking for a closer. Yeah, if he runs back to that race, he probably wins a 103 debut buyer, which is is pretty sharp. Mm -hmm. And um, you like him oh, too. 105 too. Yeah, speed. Yeah, I like him. 105. For, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I like him for all the reasons that um, Tom mentioned, but I also like the fact that he he did actually rate a little bit. It doesn't really show that mm -hmm. in the form, but mm -hmm. he was yeah. like a length off the leader earlier. Yeah. He was relaxed doing it, so. Yeah, and I think he'll do the same here. Always a chance that a horse like that can, can regress, but yeah, you sure. know, uh, it yeah. is he does have a pretty good trainer behind him, so yeah. um, mm -hmm. that's a plus. Um, I I like um, some speed horses too. Crossbow and Man Man Diaries to me are the fastest horses here. Crossbow will probably be the favorite, which I'm not not crazy about, but um, I mean he won impressively last time. Uh, I was actually there that day. We were there that oh, day yes, time. Yes, 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 and yes, seven yes, furlongs, right. same distance that. over the same track. And um, he breaks from the rail and I think he'll get the lead or he'll be right there. And, um, you know, he's he's a pretty, he's been a, a horse that Darley's like from, from the get-go. So um, I like him. And, and Madman Diaries might, might be the fastest horse in here, actually. Could be, yeah. You know, all these horses can run 45 halves without blinking an eye so yeah they can you know it's oh. it's just a matter of who do you like the best and and um madman diaries is it's got some class too you yeah know? it does yeah. so um yeah. and and ward's pretty good with young horses himself um i think the way i'm just going to play it is to use those two over a bunch of horses in uh exotics including travel and man pletcher's other horse mm -hmm. razzmatazz who i think will sit right off right. it yeah. and uh black and beauty who comes out of the holy bull and had 
the lead, you know, uh, approaching the top of the stretch there. Now he cuts back to seven furlongs, and I think um, that might help him a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Um, Who else do you guys like? Well, wagering wise here, um, strictly for the show, I'm only going to pick the one horse. But, you know, that said, we don't know what the odds are. But when you're there or you're wagering on this race, you know, if you're going to use one Pletcher horse, use the other one because my guess is Razzmatazz will be a halfway decent price and there's no reason not to use the horse. Yeah, so it just, comes out of that sharp allowance yeah. win. What do you think? I also like um, a little bit, little drama, I think, coming from off hmm. the base. Um, like the connections. I mean, he hasn't raced since October, but it's all right. David Fawkes got the yeah. money off the layoff, and yeah. I think he might pick up a little piece. And then the other um, horse from Tampa, Manisero. Manisero, yeah. yeah. Maybe he'll come from a little bit further off the pace, too. And if it is, mm -hmm. if the race does fall apart, maybe he'll pick up a piece. Yeah, we haven't even talked about him. He's won four straight coming yeah. into this yeah, race. And and three stakes. Yeah. Three stakes. Yeah. And uh, so. Yeah. Lots of ways to go. Mm -hmm. What's going on at uh, Twin Spires and Bruce? We have a couple of promotions. Uh, Twin Spires Saturday Ironman and also the 25,000 Derby Prep Parlay. Um, details are on twinspires.com. Most importantly, we have free Bristnet Ultimate PPs for the rest of the month. For the rest of the month, that's, yeah. that's very handy. Mm -hmm. Thanks to uh, Brist and Twin Spires and thanks to everybody for watching. Enjoy a great weekend of racing. For Tom and Tim, I'm Jason. Good day.